All right, everybody, welcome back to Dark Spirits. Today, me and dad are gonna be doing a review of the Glen Fittick. We're gonna do a flight of Glen Fittick. So stay tuned. All right, dad, so last video we did, I think we did the, the, the Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. We did <laughs> The Jack Daniels in the single barrel, and uh, you know, it's a nice day outside. I figured, hey, let's go ahead and step it up and get into the Scotch game. So for today, we got a flight of Glenfiddich. We got the 12 signature malt. We got the 15 Solera Reserve, and we got the 18 small batch reserve. Before we get into this, I don't know, you got any Scotch stories or Glenfiddich stories or anything else? like that i work for the guy and that was his his hobby the guy scotch uh -huh. hold on his hobby was tasting scotch his okay he was tasting scotch. all right go ahead and explain so whenever we went out of town we tried new scotch i mean you know so you go to the nice bars they have all the scotches you pick out a nice scotch and you taste so we did scotch tasting so that was that was pretty interesting i was okay. never really a scotch guy but some of them are very interesting. So <laughs> that this will weird. be a, a, a interesting tasting. Yeah, that's funny. You never told me that story before. Uh -huh. I don't know. What's the most crazy scotch you ever had that you... Oh, shoot. I, I can't think of the name, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Uh, we yeah, let's hear it. The, the Woodlands in Houston, Texas. And the Woodlands, what's that? The, that that's a resort. They have a, oh, a resort. big okay. golf tournament there. So okay. we were there. The, the weekend after the tournament. We were there Sunday when the tournament finished. So I'm sitting down talking with a, a, a customer of ours. I'm at, and he was a scotch drinker and he asked me, Dad, drink scotch? I'm like, no. He said, you got to try something scotch. The scotch is really good. Oh, so, okay. So we started, you know, to taste different scotches. And after a bar bill of a high three figures. <laughs> <laughs> High three figures. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, he was paying, so might as well. Might yeah, as well. it was a, it was an interesting evening, but that was a, that was a good introduction to various scotches. So. Yeah. All right. So you've had some experience in yeah. the woodlands. Yeah. Shout out to the woodlands. All right. Well, I have not had a lot of experience with scotches. Uh, for the guys, the people who watch this channel, you might remember I did a video on the Johnny Walker collection. So I'll put a card up there. Go back and watch that if you want to. This is going to be like my second real flight of scotch. Did you guys know, or if you don't know, if you're new to watching this channel, I do mainly dark spirits, heavy on bourbons and whiskeys, but I also do brandies, cognacs. And, you know, I'm trying to expand my range here and not just be one dimensional. So I wanted to get into more of these scotches. So when I saw this sampler, I wanted to get this because I know Glenfiddich is a very well-respected brand. I mean, it's been in business for like over 130 years. And this is a good way to try most of the collection without breaking yourself because they can get high. I'm not a scotch nerd, so I'm not going to give you guys tons of details about scotch. All I do know is that in Scotland, there's glens and bends. Bends are hills mm -hmm. and glens are valleys. And so Glenfiddich is Glenfiddich. the valley of the deer. Ah. So on here, what we got is we got the 12 year, we got the 15 year and the 18. The 12 is their signature malt from what it says here. The 15 is the Solera Vat and 18 is the small batch. So let's go ahead and start off with the uh, 12 and then we'll go through all of them. All right, so let's go ahead and pour a little bit of the 12 out. <laughs> Thanks dad for helping me open this. A uh, little bit for me, just enough for a tasting. See your glass will give you a little bit for you. Probably enough. Cork this sucker back up. So this is the 12. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the nose and I'll go first. Let me see what I'm smelling here and then you tell them, tell them what you get over here. So on the nose, wow, this is real fruity. I think this is sherry cask. Hmm, are you smelling any sherry in there? I agree, oak, for sure oak. Man, I'm getting a lot of fruit. This, this smells like wine to me. <laughs> yeah, okay. A stronger wine, a strong wine. It's a stronger wine. It's, it's very soft on the nose. Yeah, you got anything else? Any other, any other nose notes? Strong, strong smell of something sweet. Sweet, yeah, I agree with that. Cinnamon. What about the legs on here? Any legs on the glass? Nah, it's kind of watery. Mm -hmm. This is the 80 proof. Yeah, this looks like your, wow. your basic scotch. So I can tell you, 
This smells better than any of the Johnny Walkers that I had before. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go in for a taste. This smells single malt. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that, that is right. Yeah, that's the single malt. Yeah, All right. It smells. So anybody who knows anything about scotches knows single malts are, are better, right? That's a joke. All right, let's go in for a taste. One taste. Sweet, fruity, it's pleasant. One more, one more. Well, after taste, I mean, it's, it's, it's sweet. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't bad. And I'm not a scotch drinker, but I drink that again. On the palate, I am getting malt mainly. I'm getting malt and just a hint of something else. Maybe it's the sherry cask or something, but yeah, I'd agree. This is very simple. This is very simple. It's it's pleasant. This is something that is not is not offensive. This is something that anybody who's anybody who's trying to get into the scotch game, I can see they can have that. Um, yeah, there's not. It's it. It's it's a simple. It seems like a simple. You don't got to think too much about it. This is your basic. This is your single basic malt. single malt scotch. scotch you could drink every day. It's not going to be too offensive. So that's the twelve. We're going to go ahead and reset, and then we'll come back with the fifteen. All right. So, Dad, you go ahead and open up this fifteen. Okay. Well, right at the beginning, the color of this is totally different. You can see that it's darker. Uh, it's darker than the other one. Even though that's in a green bottle, I could tell that's light. This is this is pretty dark, so it's been in the cast a little bit longer. So it should be a little bit more oakier, probably sweeter. I'm thinking uh, because and then it should pick up a lot of the tannins from the cast. So it says this is a Solera vault. Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Solera, and again, for all you Scotch nerds, don't kill me. A high level view is they have a vet of scotch what they do is the new scotch gets poured into the top of this vet and they drain it from the bottom hmm. continuously so the idea is it's always a amalgamation damn vocabulary an amalgamation of all all the scotches that have been made because it's always going to be a blend of the previous batch and the new batch so that's kind of what Solera Vault is. So this is aged a little bit longer. Could it be a single malt if it's a blend Solera? I don't know. Somebody in the comments is gonna tell me. I'm curious about that. Cause it says single malt on it, right? It says single malt, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and pour it out. Right. Let me get some. You know, when I first opened this, you can smell the honey right off the top. Oh, honey? Oh yeah, it was sweet. So I'm, 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 I'm curious about this one. This looks more like the if you were a scotch drinker, what you would drink. Oaky, cherries. The smells are a whole lot more pronounced. Oh, that's interesting because I do, <laughs> I get the honey too, just like you said. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just- I do get the honey. The 12, the 12 was good, fruity, a little bit of uh, like the sherry. This one is just, yeah. this one is more uh, mature for sure. Yeah, it's sweeter. Kind of has a little bite going down, but then it kind of mellows out. I'm not crazy about the after, but uh, what is that at the end? I don't know, but but the smell immediately was oh, that's what that's what caught me. I yeah, so it's funny because the twelve, like we said, is like a everyday. You don't have to think about it. Simple single malt scotch. This that's one here has something at the end. Yeah. This I guess would you'd say this has more character. Mm -hmm. Like if you want something a little bit more interesting, like you you might want to savor and stuff like that. Cold winter night coming in. Yeah, this would be your drink here. Yeah. Sure. Are you getting a lot of uh, sherry or something? Yes, it's um, you can taste. Now the, the, the oak is right in the back of my throat. I mean, you can tell. That's what it is yeah, at the end. Yeah, it's the oak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but like if you've had a lot of whiskeys and stuff, the same thing. This one is just, the first one is not bad. The first one is solid. This is no problem at all. This this is just like something a little bit nicer. You got a lot, a little bit more dimension. What about the mouth? They're both watery. Uh, the finish is relatively quick. Yeah. This has just a little bit of, I guess, more you that. just kicked it up a notch. From yeah, you get a little bit more oak. You get a little bit of more of that, I guess, 
the, the Sherry or whatever. Very close. I'm gonna have to go back and see what the price difference is between these, but I mean. Three years age difference too. The three years age, uh, it really just depends so far on like what it is you want to do. But yeah, this is probably more, the 12 is like, all right, I don't want to think about it. I want to just drink, boom, boom, boom. This is more, okay, you know, I want to think about, it. I want to kind of savor a little bit more of the flavors. Um, let me ask you this so far, for a bottle, what do you think the price difference should be between these two? Probably just because of the age, I bet you it's 20 bucks or more. 20 bucks mm -hmm. for the extra three uh, years I and the Solera? Is. I bet it is. All right, so yeah, we're doing this completely blind, so I'm gonna we have to go know, back. So. I'll pop the prices up on top of here <laughs> and we'll see if we're right. So that was the 15. You got anything else you wanna say before we move on to the 18? No, I mean, you know, like I said, uh, cold, stormy night in the winter time, I think I'd go to the age 15. If I was a real scotch drinker, I'd just take the age 12, I think you'd be fine. I think so too, 100%, 1000%. Let's move on to the 18. All right, so we're opening up the 18. According to the box here that this says, it is carefully matured for 18 years in the finest Oloroso sherry and bourbon cast built by our own expert Coopers. These casts are then matured in small batches to give notes of rich, Baked apple and cinnamon spice. Okay, I don't know what notes they're talking about. Okay, color. Right, 18, what you got? What you got in the color, Dad? Darker. Uh, apples and sherry, right off the top. Uh, interesting. Yeah, we want to try this. All right, let's go. In between bottles, we uh, put some water in our glasses to reset our palate and everything else, try to give you guys a really good indication of what it is we're experiencing at the time. This does not smell like alcohol. This smells more like a uh, juice. Mm -hmm. Fruity. This this is like a uh, fruity cinnamon. Yeah, and you know what? They did say cinnamon on the tasting notes. Yeah. This smells more like I don't know. If you guys ever around Thanksgiving, sometimes you might have those apple ciders or something that comes in the bottle, like. Martinelli's or something. Yeah. I didn't sip this. If you're gonna drink scotch, this is what you drink. So the nose, <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did, it says baked apple yes, and cinnamon. Just to drink right here. On the nose, I don't get baked apple. I do see the cinnamon. Let me go ahead and taste mine. I would drink this. You can sip this. Yes, sir. No problem. This is a drink right here. It's less burn than the 15. Mm -hmm. It comes later down the road, but when you swallow it, it's just silky. And, and it tastes, it just has that, kind of that sweet, oaky, smoky taste, you mm. know? It's pleasant. Damn, this is good. This is fine scotch. I would like that. So this is something that I, I fit it, 18. The eight. So I'd probably give this to somebody. I, I forgot how much this costs for a bottle. This is not going to scare anybody away. Uh, for me, you know, it's a little bit more dry. Maybe that's the oak or something. But I'm getting a little bit of dryness yeah, on the back end of here. Doesn't have a bad. No, no, no. It's good. Taste. I it's mean, good. It's. This doesn't it's taste it's like. Uh, this is. This is not like a boozy. You like. You're not going to drink this and be like. It tastes well. Do you do you think you need to put this on on the rocks or is it good neat? I just put probably just a couple of drops of water in it, and uh, it was fine. I mean, yeah, you could sit and 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 sip it just like it is. And our water's kind of it's not real cold, but you know, yeah, it's not. That's all you need. All right, so wrapping up, what would you say about the twelve? Considering that we had the twelve, fifteen, and the eighteen. Your 12 would be your basic scotch that, you know, when people came over and said, hey, man, you want to drink scotch? Yeah, I'll, I'll drink that. Okay. So, yeah, and I think they'd be, you know, pleasantly surprised and very happy and like, oh, man, whoa, Glenn Fitt is 12. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, I would agree with that. I think it's a great scotch, uh, easy drinking, nothing to, nothing to write home about, boom. Go ahead and talk about the 15, what would you say? Um, 15, maybe, you know, it's a little bit different. You could do a, a, a taste test comparison. Say, hey man, I got this 15 year old. You wanna try it compared to the 12, you know? 
and people you know may say yeah I, I see a little bit difference there a little bit different taste definitely a little different color uh, aged a little bit longer so of course there's gonna be some differences I agree but, with that uh, you know as far as any real big differentiation nah not really I mean you know if I was gonna spend my money between the 12 and the 15 it'd be 12 I'm 100% agreeing with you. I think on the 15, you get more of the sherry, you know, for, for people who like that sherry finish, you get more of the sherry in the 15. However, overall, right, knowing what we know about what's next down the line, I just go with the 12. The 18, just out of ballpark, I remember, I'm pretty sure that this 18 is like, it's maybe like $130, $140 a bottle. I kind of remember that. I think this is maybe 60, this may be like around 80 maybe, but I remember this one as being more expensive. It kind of depends on what it is you're trying to do. As an everyday drinker, I would probably say, just go with the green. If you really want to show off, you know what I mean? Maybe you want to go for the 18, but they're all good. It's hard to say, like, you got to try them yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's Thanksgiving or something. Yeah. What are you going to want somebody to bring? You're going to drink the 18. I mean, it's, yeah, it's come on. Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. Be serious. Like, come on, oh, man. Wow. Like, yeah, let's go. Thanks and I, I would probably day. say you should be drinking the entire bottle. I would want to have the whole bottle and we're going to finish this bottle on a special occasion because it's a quality bourbon. Um, you definitely get the malt. I'm sorry, uh, Freudian slip. It's quality scotch. You get the malt. And also the, uh, the 18 is bourbon cast also, which, you know, maybe that's why I'm kind of liking it more because you kind of, oh, you know what? I did say it was a little bit drier. So maybe that's what it is I'm tasting, a little bit of that dryness that I get. Yeah, overall, fantastic bottles, fantastic. Um, I would say if you get a chance, pick up this sampler because it gives you a chance to try all three. Glen Fittick, Valley of the Dare, we like it. And um, I don't know, maybe on the next one, Maybe we'll come back with a different sampler. Uh, Dad, I want to thank you for sitting in on this video. It's always good. Yeah, yeah. sitting out here on the deck, chilling, yeah. drinking scotch. I mean, life is going pretty good. Life is good. Hey, everybody out there, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Y'all take care. Dark Spirits, we out. So let's do this for bonus. Let's go ahead and reset once more and let's do the 15 against the 18 just to see if we can tell, right. you know, the difference between the two. All right, so we reset. We're going to try this 15 again and just see if it's really that much different from the 18. All right, let's go. Immediate. Immediate. There is a difference. Yeah, you could tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's funny, right? Because. This 15 is solid. I mean, this is good. But this eight, the, the 18 just, yeah, the 18 just takes it to the next level. See, this is one of them things where it's like, you don't want to like it too much, right? Because you might be like, <laughs> you don't want to like it. You know, yeah, once you figure out, you may, you may find out that this is way outside the budget, right? And then you're like, okay, you don't want to like it too much. Like a lot of times it's better to not have stuff. To not know that. You know, know. <laughs> yeah.